Welcome back awesome action toy fans and subscribers special review for you today Do you know what this is? It says Mega It's like tree maybe Shop uh, The word mega should be a clue So this is from Mega I think it's Mega House Toys Dun 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 Gundam Military Generation These are 118 scale action figures Not the actual Gundam mechs robots themselves i have not opened this looks pretty cool this is the zeon or zeon or zeon or the zeon would be the guest uh soldiers here the box is taped oh and my knife is not here the failure can i get this box with my fingernails because i'm so excited and the answer is i can okay i was Tate on all the sides, they're doing it on purpose to keep me from getting to my toys. <laughs> but I'm gonna get the knife now, so I'm getting a bit annoyed. So back in an instant. Okay, let's open this. Dun, 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 dun. I thought better to get the knife because there might be more tape on guessing on the individual boxes inside. Because there's should be yeah there is tape and there's three boxes because there's four three figures. So this is the woman. It's a rather big box. She is there. Then we have next one on the guys. And then we have the last one, the other guy. So three figures here. These look to have exceptional articulation, but I won't know exactly until obviously I break them out of these little prisons and see what they are like. The thing with these is these boxes are quite big and they look quite nice. Are they presentation boxes? They're not presentation boxes. If they were, I'll be well actually I'm still tempted to keep them keep them the, the boxes I mean and after room, stick them back in the box and put them back in their their little box here and their shipping box and put them somewhere safe because they really are expensive and look quite cool. Okay, let's go with the guys first. Oh, let's go number order. She's number three. He's number one. Okay, so yeah, I think the box will be okay if I stick it up there. Yeah. Okay, number one. So it says Gundam Military Generation shows the equipment. He comes with like a machine gun, a rifle, a pistol, looks like a almost like a, um, a Luger, ammo belt, uh, ammo can, grenade, couple of pouches, a what's the word? Not a holster, like a holster for the gun. Um, he has double elbow joints, bicep swivel, thigh swivel, double knee joints, he, toe articulation. He looks really well articulated. Box is nice, but the nice there's like a flap, you know, so you can see everything inside. That would really tempt me to a one hundred percent keep the boxes. And they're still tempted now anyway, but that'll be like the uh, real deciding factor. So yes, it's a good idea to get a knife because they are all taped. So it's a. Uh, Something just drop out then I can see if I heard something. Oh, no, no, oh sorry, it's starting to drop out. Let me get that. What is this? So this is instructions that I can see how to attach some of the stuff to the belts. I was not expecting it to be in two clamshells. It's a bit wasteful. I got a bit excited. Oh, it's going to be two figures, but no, one is the figure. And they come with one, two, they come with three extra pairs of hands. And then other is the equipment, which does look rather good. Let's look at equipment first. Even this is taped as well. It's like a tape fest. This is only taped, fortunately, on two sides.
I'm telling a lie that he taped on all the sides. I've missed those bits there. They really don't want you to get to your toys in a hurry. Okay, so we have the gun number one with this strange sight on the side. That looks really nice and it even has a drilled barrel. Despite the barrel being so thin, that is really, really nice. Uh, that's like a, looks like a rifle. Gun number two is like a machine gun. That looks pretty cool. Again, with a drilled barrel. Very high quality on that. Here we have like a, almost quite, that's really quite rigid webbing. Not a lot of movement on that. Like the belt section of a couple of the pouches. Here is an ammo box, and the ammo box does open and oh so cool there's even ammo inside we have here like a sleeping bag which i can see can attach to the back of the uh well, a sleeping mat can attach to the back of the uh, webbing very easily then we have these bags here we have grenade couple of pouches pistol the um Like the pistol hol holster, but this pistol doesn't fit in it because the holster is sealed shut. More bullets and whatnot. Um, do I need to open this? Yeah, I'll delay for the time being. Maybe I'll open it in a second. Okay, figure again. I'm expecting four lots of tape. When I get to the other two figures, I will uh, pause when I do this part so you don't have to watch me do this three times and then just get to the uh, accessories and figures quickly that way okay two of his hands jumped out of me oh three of his hands where did one go so i've seen oh that no, jumped across i see some of his hands jumped out at me here so we have the figure we have alternate head two one of a cigar one without so in, in effect if you were to buy uh, three of these, you get three different figures, which is pretty cool. If you can do the same for the other two, that makes nine. Interestingly enough, his head, I've just noticed with the helmet ones, has this big peg on his head. That's not a flat top. To make the hat fit in very securely. Or the helmet, I should say, very nice like that. Um, looks pretty cool. I'm not sure about this foot articulation system, though. No? Okay. Stands up quite easily. Um, so we have the hands. And the hands, let me see, are they mirror image? It has mirror image gun hands. Mirror image sort of like this. And mirror image sort of gun hands with the fingers more like this as well pretty cool i will put that briefly on top so his hands don't run away from me uh heads i'll leave out for now okay so let's look at his articulation first of all so he has a left a right down not really a up and back because the sculpt in the head gets in the way side to side Shoulders right, he's got this action and he's got that on top. You can see that the shoulder can do this. So he's got very good shoulder articulation. That is probably higher than me with the backs of his hands to the ceiling. Yeah, just about maybe. Uh, pretty good. So that shoulder articulation is um, really good because he can roll his shoulders forwards too which will make it nice for holding uh, long barrel weapons. His neck also has a peg, like a barbell, not quite a barbell peg. It looks like sort of similar system, so he gets a bit more motion there. He has an arm twist from the bicep, Let, and obviously a shoulder twist. Let's look at his bicep bend. It should be absolutely amazing, or not? Yeah, that's just impossible. I mean, look at that. 
His left arm, it looks like it's going completely flat. The right arm is not quite there, or is it? I to call the right arm the elbow, the joint's a bit stiffer maybe, but let's have a look. <laughs> I can't get anywhere near that. Oops. That's really, really good. Okay, on his wrists, it's wave articulation on both sides. Interestingly, these are metal pins in the joints. You can just about make out the metal pin there, maybe. And the spare hands, let me have a look, are the same. So I'll just be scared of those, pen, those pins coming out. Okay, so he does have trunk, so he can go side to side really well, so it's a bit like a Fortnite figure. Forwards and backwards really well, and he can turn well, so it's better than the Fortnite actual range of motion. He has waist too, which is good. Hips, look at that, fantastic. He has thigh twist. Forwards is not great, the clothing gets in the way. Backwards is almost non-existent. He has a double knee bend, and he gets as tight as you like. Look at that, that's just ridiculous. Feet, okay, now they got ju ball joints that you have to line up to the angle you want to move them. That's what I was doing earlier. So he gets a decent tippy toe. His dorsal flexation is Michael Jackson. Is not great, but not bad either. And he has toe articulation like a joy toy figure too. Um, you can twist the foot. Outwards and inwards, you can turn the foot, but remember the joint is separate to the foot and the ankle. So make sure you, the, the joint goes with it when you turn it back. Otherwise, it'll only do this on the sideways angle. That makes sense. I've no idea. That's probably a poor explanation. Great articulation, and you can see that he has the holes here for his belt to be attached. So I'm going to attach some of the accessories. So he holds his uh, gun. And just then, as a click, his left elbow joint was a bit st stiff. In fact, is actually going. Can, unless you can see on camera, it's going underneath in inside the arm. So just be careful of that. Okay, so let's have a look. Now the instructions in here, are they the same as the other ones? Just shows the uh, how to put things on. So to put the webbing on, you've got to take his head off, which shouldn't be difficult, I hope. Yeah, of course, that is a that is scary. That is a tiny barbell peg. Uh, the arms come off. That's not difficult. Then the webbing should fit on. Let me see. The picture looks like some of these are longer, which go on top. In reality, they are all the same, but I imagine it would be that way. But that webbing is very, very stiff. However, I do like that stiff webbing because it means it's, it will stay on his body far more nicely when, once it's on. And he still gets his range of motion, which is good. Uh, the belt, you have to either put up or take down. Would that go down? Should have made it on the belt first, actually, but I'm going to try and stick it over. Success. Yeah. And how is that going to fit on there? Hmm. I'm not sure that does actually fit on. It just might just be a loose thing or go over his shoulders since that has no pegs inside that I can see. Is that on this one? Let me see. No, it's not. 
Okay, so the holes you can stick the things in which are in the bags here, like the pockets, the grenade, the um, holster for the gun, etc. Which I'm not going to put in, put on. Let's put them back together. That was very easy. So was that one, and lastly. Now that one is not going in easily. Is that in? Okay, that appears to be in. Okay, let's attach this to his backpack. Okay, good. Okay, is that going to overbalance him backwards? Yes, it will a little bit. Okay, let's see how hold his gun. I I will try the pistol at the moment. Let's try his long guns first. Now, the thing with action figures this size is if the stock is long, they can't get into the shoulder. It makes it difficult to hold. Because they've got movable shoulders, a little bit like some of the newer acid rain mold figures and a little bit like the um, some of the... Um, uh, War of Order figures from Devil Toys. That shouldn't be a problem. Hands, I'm hoping, just pull out. Yes, they do. I was I've just broken it because these are fist hands. And he needs oh, gun hands. That's quite stiff. Let me see. Which hands shall I use? Uh -huh, uh -huh, I think this one for his right. And I think his left hand should be an open one. Oh, no. Maybe I'll use a... um. Similar one again. Let's see what it's like. Okay, so insert and please don't break. Yes, I can hear you shouting. Use hot water. It's a new figure. Phew. One. And. Sorry. No. Yeah. Number two, come on, come to Papa. Two. Okay, let's leave his backpack off for now. Okay, so while I'm getting his gun set up, I'll say the sculpting is really nice. The paint apps are good. Uh, there's no weathering, but it looks really nice. The quality feels really, really good. The hands, there is give. But the fingers feel a bit short and there's no sculpting on the inside of the fingers. It's just plain. Okay, so you can hold this in there quite well. So can you hold this side as well? Very nice. And quite easy to balance almost straight away. Superb. And then let's use the other one, the rifle. I'll use the same hand, still not going to change them over. Since they should work the same, the handles look almost identical. The stock on this one appears to be maybe a touch longer. Can he use the scope on this? That is the question. I think the scope is going to be... The stock's going to be too long to use the scope, but let's see. And will he be, will he be able to hold his second handle as well? That was looking so good. He let go. It's been quite tough for him to look out, look down those uh, big white sight, sights on this uh, rifle here. And now he doesn't want to stand up for me. But he 
actually does hold that quite well. Really, really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this so you guys can not watch me do this for another three times or two times. Get the other guys out and then I'll talk about them having a the setup and do some comparisons with some other figures. So I'll be back in an instant for you and probably about 10 minutes for me. Back in a moment. Okay, the other two open. Here's number two. He is more podgy, which is really nice to have a different body shape, not the same sculpt. He had, comes with two heads, two extra heads. This is the bearded one. He comes with a cigar head as well. And another alternative face, which you can put a helmet on. They all come with two extra heads. So if you buy three sets, you have nine figures. Number one, I've already changed his head to a cigar head. You can see here, smoking away, eyes closed like he's sleeping. And he's got a pistol, which he holds well. Uh, number two comes with the same machine gun. He also comes with a really nice sawn off shotgun. Uh, he comes with this awesome looking backpack, whether this is a jetpack or a rebreather or something, I've no idea. I'm not really into Gundam. And he comes with a base for a big machine gun plus his wedding as well. And also he comes with somewhere, I think, maybe some pockets and grenades as well somewhere. Um, I'm sure I saw that somewhere. What did I do with it? It's here somewhere I will find in a moment. I'm sure so many things here. Okay, number three. She does look really good. Nice sculpting. Slimmer female. Um, not really given a hip. Well, there's some hips there. So that does work quite well. There is something worrying about her on her left arm. And that is, unless you can see on camera, the plastic is a lot lighter. It's been stressed. Uh, really nice looking face. They are they are anime style faces, so not quite matches for your uh, other figures. The heads are all very similar or the same, but if you've got, because they're all slightly different, it won't matter if they'll have different heads if you buy three sets. Looks great. They all come with three extra pairs of hands. She also comes with a machine gun. She comes with this sort of a, does this move at all? That's fixed. This sort of a sight binoculars, which looks really cool. Uh, she comes with webbing again, and this looks like a comms backpack, perhaps, since it's got the... Uh, Aerials and she comes with a big bad boy machine gun here <laughs> Which unfortunately is only an indented barrel not drilled that seems kind of funny Why would you drill the other gun barrels which are tiny and a lot more difficult to do? But not the uh, big one on the uh, see that's Drilled nicely not the big one on the big gun. It seems a bit funny she also comes with a um, grenade pack, and I've no idea what that strange piece there is at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get these guys out, set them up, and then do a comparison. So again, for you, will be back in an instant, and back for me, probably another five, ten minutes. So see you right now. And here they are. They do look good. This guy has another little bag with a pistol in, and somehow I've managed to lose that sitting at this table so i'm sure i'll find that once this review is over and see what else i've missed from that bag um so my opinion on the figures they look great articulation is great but the ankles is fiddly if it's not aligned right it's going to be you know you've got to twist around to line up the joints and get the toes to go the, the foot to go this way and not that way it's a bit too fiddly however they do look great articulation the legs the upper body is amazing the sculpting great quality is good except for my uh, woman here on her left shoulder see the i showed you the uh, plastic is stressed the accessories are great this is pretty cool it doesn't move or anything but it's also brittle so i'd be careful with that this gun here is pretty nice even though it feels a bit low they could sit down and operate this and have this sort of ammo belt and the uh, ammo can we just can go to just add more to it again you know it's a really nice set but the cost is so high for these i forget how much i paid but way too much um 
and they're releasing another set of, I think it's the opposing forces and more of a sand color very soon, which I've not ordered, not sure if I would. I would be tempted to get another two sets of these to get all the variations in the heads, but I don't think I will because, you know, I'm not that loaded, I'm not that rich, don't have that much money. Uh, and it's Mega House Toys you want to send to me? No? Fine, fair enough. Okay, let's compare them to some other toys. Well, in a second, let's have a quick look. So I put this guy with his shotgun and he does hold that really, really well. Let me get his hand a bit better. There we go. He does look <laughs> fantastic. This guy, I've put his cigar head, but as I said, his eyes are closed in this head, but it looks pretty cool He's shooting his pistol near. And then the woman, I've given those the uh, machine gun. That's the only gun she comes with apart from the uh, big one. And again, she holds that pretty well too. Just turn her head to face the direction she's uh, shooting in. And she looks far better. Was it? Or whatever sound these Gundam guns make. These Gundam guns! Okay, let's compare them now to some other figures from 118 scale. Both the guys are taller than the woman, but she hasn't got a helmeted head on. First, I use Acid Rain World Civic Company Sentinel. Woman here is taller than, but scales well. The guys a bit taller than, but they, he is. Even with his, his extra suit makes him look far more bulky. That's a bit of an optical illusion. He's a little bit more bulky. These are slightly slender. Uh, next is use a joy toy. I'm going to use the US um, Airborne Division. Because these guys could almost work in World War II. You see he is taller than the one, but they actually do scale very well together. He is a little bit taller than the guys, and again, he's built slightly more, but they still do work well together, too. Next up, you use a Marauder Valkyrie, because she's a woman. Woman and woman comparison, first of all. Actually, woman and man comparison. She is taller than the guys. She is a big lass. But they do work, even compared to the other girl. She's a lot taller. The other woman, sorry. Um, but I would say that doesn't work particularly well when I got those two things together. It doesn't look. They look almost like different scales, even though they're not. Uh, so lastly, well not lastly. Let's use a Fortnite figure. This is the scientist, so he's sci-fi. You know, Gundam is sci-fi too. This is one an awesome, awesome figure. And again, all these figures will be in suggested videos, which is the bar up there somewhere. And here comes the scientist now. Scales above them, but it works with his big bulk and army. And not army, his big bulk uh, armor, I should say. And now we will use one more. I will use another Fortnite figure. I'll use Elite Agent because she is a female soldier and a really good figure at that. Very underrated Fortnite figure, except she can't get her arms down to her side, so she's walking around with imaginary laps all the time. Nothing you can't fix with a box cutter knife or exacto knife. And she does work well scale wise with them. They are good figures, they are scale really nicely. Just a shame, I just think the Marauders are a touch too tall, really. It kind of works. I mean, not have a forced perspective. Let's put a parallel. And even then, she looks like a giant test almost in comparison. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more, many more to come in the coming days and weeks. Uh, this set is particularly nice. I do like it. They are good good figures as i said lots of articulation definitely for children loads of small parts in the um boxes and loads of accessories but they do look absolutely fantastic and as i said if you buy one set you can make three soldiers from one set 
well, one, three soldiers from one figure with the two extra additional heads, and nine soldiers all together if you buy three sets of the three figures. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out, so please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to do more awesome action toy videos for you. Stop drinking. Stay happy, keep collecting, and check out the rest of my content because there's loads on the channel. Bye-bye.